I, this has been such a blessing for us four ladies that started this. The four ladies are Vicki Rose, Connie, 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 and myself, and I'm reading. Uh, about three months ago, the Lord laid it on our hearts that we needed to do this. And so we have been open 11 weeks today. <laughs> what he has done for us has been phenomenal. So I, I thank you all for participating. I thank the community for what they've done for us. Um, our main goal, there's just like that, there's the four of us ladies. We're not associated with the church as such. It's just us. And we take donations. We take food. We take jewelry. We take furniture. We take, we take money. We even take money. <laughs> Over here, we have been so blessed with food. There's one company in Spring Branch that brought us 800 pounds of canned goods last week. You know how much 800 pounds of, of food? It's a lot of food. We have had to go to the food bank once since we've been open. And that's just God's provision for us. And you are a 501c3. We are 501c3. We... Um, of course, well, we've got our tax exempt notice and all that kind of stuff. And we just want to, our mission statement is that we want to glorify God. We want to serve the seniors and the vets and the disabled in our community. And uh, we want to treat people the way we want to be treated. Amen. And I feel like if we can do those three things, that at the end of it, God will say, good job, my child. And it's all any of us want. So please make yourself at home. Eat. Enjoy, visit, yes ma'am. Hours of operation. Uh, we are open. We'll take donations. We'll take donations anytime you want to come. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 4. But our number is posted. I live four miles up the street. So if you have something on a Monday and you need to see me, you call me. I'll make sure I will get here. And if you know people who need what we have here, please send them to us. Place it on to us. There's so much need in this community of our seniors. Uh, our average senior makes about $600 a month. And, uh, uh, you know, their rent is $450 a month. So if we can feed them, then that frees up their money to do whatever else they need to do. So if you know anybody, I, we, we cater to seniors because that's where my passion is. But uh, <laughs> anybody, anybody comes to send me and they need food, I don't send anybody to white people. Blanco people. Blanco people, we serve a lot of Blanco people. Uh, Canyon Lake people, I understand that there's a gap in Canyon Lake area that people are not being taken care of. If you know of them, you'll send me one and they'll bring three the next time they can. And then eventually everybody will be fed. I hope to feed about 300 families this month. Do what? I told how many we fed already. Last month, our first month in, in open, we fed 94 people. Wow. Yeah, 94 families. This month, we've been open wow. two weeks, and we have already hit 94. Mm -hmm. So we will hit. We will average about 300 families a month. Uh, that's that's a lot of little bodies. Yeah. And you know, the thing that I'm the proudest of, I mean, you know, anybody can give them a can of food, but they come in, we always have coffee, we always have goodies, and I spend a third of my time just talking. Uh, because, because they just want somebody to spend some time with you. And they'll come in and I'll say, is it your food day? And they'll say, I just came to get coffee and visit. And they'll visit 15 or 20 minutes and they're gone. But we have to fill their soul besides just their stomach. The oh, oh, our pantry. I just assume everybody knows because I know. <laughs> a lot of pantries limit what you can get. They give you a list and you have two of this and three of this. Or, or they bag it up for you. We don't do that. I don't like that. We give them a shopping cart and say, you go get what you want, what you need. And um, they'll come and they'll pick up one or two little cans of this. Oh, no, no, no. You go back around because that's not near enough. Uh, we, we work with provisions and they bring us stuff and we kind of share the people. There's none of us that can give them enough for a whole month. But if all of us work together, then they can be fed for a whole month. So, uh, you know, the more we give out, the more God gives to us. 
so we've always got plenty. Uh, we go to Seventh Home once a month and get meat. So we always have meat, we have fresh vegetables and, and fruit if we can, and always eggs and potatoes and those kind of things. So please, 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 if you know anybody that you think needs us, for any reason, please have them come see us. And come shop because that's how we make our money for a year. So, <laughs> so say, I, is there any specific need you have right now as far as one thing over the other? You know, honestly, there's not. Um, earlier this week, it was um, peanut butter and jelly. We had a lady this morning comes in and she brings us 12 jars of jelly and you know it's it's amazing you know god works in, in really wonderfully mysterious ways but we can be talking and say you know we really need to go get some peanut butter and before four o'clock gets here somebody will have walked in and said i was at walmart and i thought you know i bet they could do some peanut butter it happens every single day of the week god listens to what you what we tell him that we need and he supplies them. So we can't be more grateful than that. So send people, bring your goodies. We will donate them. We will we will put them out. We don't charge much for anything that we get. We have furniture. We're hoping in a few months, maybe six or eight months, to be able to enlarge a little bit because we're going to outgrow this building pretty fast, uh, according to what's already happened in eleven weeks. So anything that you've got, we've got a storage building that we can put stuff in, and we'll take them down and show them furniture. We're going to keep it a timer however God needs us to do it. So, if you know somebody, send them, and if you got something, bring it. So, <laughs> Eve, have a good time, and thank you again so much for coming. So, Do you have volunteer opportunities? Or? We do. We love volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> we will sign you up. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, if you can spend a, an hour, that's wonderful. If you want to come spend the whole day with us, that's wonderful. Uh, the, we have a group of, of kids from Living Rock Academy that come every Friday. And they just, you know, one day they separated bags for us because that's what we needed done. Uh, they cleaned up outside, they helped us clean, they washed windows. Just, yeah, they washed windows, they, you know, nailed some stuff on the side of the building the other day. So, yes, any, and I don't have restricted hours, any time you can come, they'll call me ahead of time if you don't want to, just show up, we'll put you to work. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all come. Enjoy.